This is a true life story. My husband dark request. Sorry, the test was negative. The family doctor, Mr. Samuel, told me, and my heart sank. Muttering a thank you in a sole tone, I rose and exited the office. I had mistook some signs to be symptoms of pregnancy, but I was wrong. I really wanted to get pregnant. In fact, I would do just about anything to get pregnant. Although my husband was a wreck in bed and barely satisfied my sexual needs, but my nanny for a child of my own overshadowed his flu. I did not care if I reached my orgasm or not, or if he simply went into him and ejaculated after a few minutes, leaving me unsatisfied and empty. What mattered to me now? more than life itself was being a mother we have been married for six years and our courtship had been set free not that any of us was a virgin i had swore myself to sally basy and had been surprised and glad when god had brought my way a man who stated that no intimacy until marriage but little did i know that it was not due to a religious belief, but simply because he never wanted me to discover how terrible he was in satisfying a woman. No foreplay, no dirty works, just spread my tie, let himself in, and in less than two minutes he was done, rolling off to turn his back to me, and then you hear him snoring away, leaving me sad hungry, unsatisfied, and depressed. On our first year, I had hoped that I would conceive within months, but nothing happened. I made frequent visits to the hospital for checkup, but my husband never agreed to follow me, no matter what. He told me that it was fine and I must be the one with the problem. The pressure from our families were mounting, especially from his mom, who would call me almost every month to find out if I had conceived. The society, too, would not give me a breathing space, and soon people began to conclude that I was barren, and I must have fucked up my womb while I was in college from excessive drug use or series of abortions. But that was not true. I have never aborted before, nor abused any drug. But people will say what they believed anyway, and other women, including some of my friends, seized the opportunities to indirectly remind me of my childlessness. I prayed, I cried, I fasted, I begged God for a solution, but the answers were not forthcoming, not unsay. I overheard my husband on the phone, and I realized that his mother had been pressuring him into getting a second wife. His friends were also secretly advising him to get a random girl pregnant, since he married a man for a wife. I was helpless. I was at the verge of losing my marriage soon. One certain day, I decided to do a full and thorough clean-up of the house. And that was when I discovered a folded paper in the inner pocket of one of my husband's old suits. I took it out, and much to my greatest surprise, I realized that he had gone through a test without enemy, and he was diagnosed of low sperm count. So he was the one at fault, all along, and yet, People pointed fingers at me. I stalked into the city room to confront him and he began to plead and cry. He begged me not to divorce him and that he did not tell me before we married because he was afraid to lose me. But yet, I suffered acquisition upon acquisitions while my husband, who was the real culprit, remained Unscattered. I was furious. 
I wanted to scream. Why will he leave me in the dark for so long and let me go through emotional torture on a matter that I was innocent about? He told me that if I left him and even if he remarried and still could not get his other wife pregnant, people would surely know for sure that the fault was his. In the first place, and he did not want to become a laughing stock. Fumi, I sat down and he came to me and told me that he wanted to ask for a favor and that he would have asked a long time ago, but he did not know how to present it. And then my husband said that I could go out and half pregnant and he would happily father the child. I was stunned but seeing the look on my face. He added, perhaps trying to tempt me. I know you still have little finish for your ex. If it has to be him, I would not mind. Just don't tell me when you eventually sleep with him. All I need to know is when you conceive. I could not believe my ex. To say that I was shocked was an understatement. I would never do such a thing. I bluntly told him. He remained passively quiet for a while, then asked, What about Kola? I gave him a look. What about Kola? I asked. Kola was his best friend. Do you do it with him? I trust him more, and his head status is sound. What? I flared, jutting up to my feet. You are asking me to sleep with your best friend in order to get pregnant. He slowly rose up with a great look. I know you would have wished we adopt, but giving birth to a baby will confuse people better. Nobody has to know. It will be strictly kept between the three of us. Please, Tony, he implored. I can't do it, and I won't do it, I said, and I walked away. After weeks of beggings and incessant pleading from my husband, I gave up. I would wake up sometimes to find him crying in the middle of the night. I could not take the torture anymore, so I threw in the two way. He so elated when I told him that even though I was not pleased with it, and it was strongly against my belief, I accepted to do it just once, and if I did not fall pregnant, then he should never mention it again. He agreed and immediately got on the phone with Kola. When he returned to the room, he said, Kola says he would like you on red lingering and red eggs. I frowned. Why the hair will he request such? Is this some game to him? In fact, I changed my mind. This is a bad idea. I am no longer interested. My husband begged to plead all over again and I could help but soften and comply to his demand. I had no idea what they might have really discussed, but it made me tense. Adultery was not my tense, and I could not believe that I was going against my religious belief just to please my husband. Are you ready? Kola's voice interrupted my thoughts. I glared at him, then looked away, as I swallowed hard and mobbed a yes. Tony, I know that you are not cool with this, but you know that I am only trying to help you guys out here. I am married and my wife does not know about this. So let's get this over with. What is in need for you? I asked suspiciously. My husband never knew, but I knew that Kola had always had an eyes for me since our courtship. Nothing much. Just four million naira, and something minor that you do not need to bother yourself about. Your husband is waiting in the city room downstairs now. Four million naira, I echoed in disbelief. We did not even have to spend quarter a million to adopt a child, and yet my husband was paying his best friend to impregnate me. What the hell? He began to unbutton his shirt now as he kicked off his shoes. His lustful eyes never leave me.
my rules, at least you hold me that much for doing you guys a favor. What do you mean? I asked. I want you to do everything I ask. I have four kicks and I know just the right position that you will like. Let's begin with you on your knees and your head on the pillow, he stated. I cringe and almost fled out of the room at that moment. This was crazy and impulsive. I had the feeling that I would regret this, but if I had to make my mother-in-law happy and my husband a proud father, there was no turning back now. Please, switch off the light, I said, and he hesitantly obeyed while I mobbed under my breath for God to forgive me for what I was about to do. I stripped beer, climbed the bed, and positioned myself the way he had asked me to do. Hoping that he was worse in says than my husband, I was hoping we would be done in two minutes and we could call it a day and forget that something like this ever happened. I felt a part of the bed sink as he placed a knee on it, then felt his hand around my thigh. I squeezed my eyes shut and braced myself for what was to come, but just when I thought it was going to plug. Instead, I let out a soft gasp when I felt his mouth coming in contact with the spot where no man has ever touched me with his mouth before. I mud and bite into the pillow. I did not want to reveal that I was actually enjoying what he was doing. I felt both ashamed and embarrassed. I had had things about such sexual pleasure from my friends while I was in the university, but the thought of a man going down on me was revolting. At a point, I began to crave such experience, but not when I married a man who only believed in pandem for two minutes, and that was all. The room was dark and Kola was instructed on what position to take when it was done with the previous. As I lay there, I wondered what my husband was actually doing right now. I imagined him pacing the hallway and pursuing before the door at intervals to listen. My thoughts did not last long and I realized that I was crying. I was actually making no sound because I did not want color to be aware, but the tears streaming out of my eyes. Why was I crying? I grubbed my mind for a reason and realized that I was crying because the pleasure was too much. The first tears had escaped my eyes after orgasm had taken over my body. I never knew this was how it felt like, but I could not describe it. It was like heaven. Color was exploring my body in ways I never knew my body could be pleasured. Even though I tried to hold back from enjoying everything, it was difficult too because my body betrayed me. When he finally entered me, I did not need a lubricant like I always did with my husband. I had on the bed sheet to keep myself from holding him tighter to my body. Five minutes passed, 15, 20, 25, and that was when I felt him go rigid. Soon, we were done, and he did not roll off me and slept off like my husband. He embraced me and pulled my head to his chest while his finger drew invisible sack on my upper arm. I did not know whether to thank God for letting me experience such pleasure for once in my life or break down in tears that I had actually agreed to let another man bed me. Soon, he placed a kiss on my forehead and squatted off the bed. He had his beads, got dressed and exited the room while I remained on the bed hiding my nakedness under the duvet. I could hear him talking with my husband by the stairs, and I could just imagine them shaking and why my husband thanked him previously. I rose and walked to the window just in time to see Kola unlocking the door of his car. I saw him pulling something out of his pocket. 
stared at it for a while before entering his car and drove off. Unknown to Tony, Kola had been stared at his semen in a tight condom. She had no idea that he had used protection. After a few minutes, my husband solely walked into the guest room. He seemed to hesitate for a while as if he was afraid to meet my eyes. After stuttering for a moment, he finally spoke, breaking the uncomfortable silence. So how was it? Then he quickly caught himself as he cringed at the thought of asking if his wife had enjoyed sex with another man. I mean, I know it is a wide question. I hope he was gently with you. Well, it does not matter. What matters is that you should get pregnant. Why do you not tell me that you were going to pay him for sleeping with me? I coldly asked. He swallowed hard. Just a sort of compensation. Honey, I will transfer two million to him tomorrow and another after you conceive. I was disgusted. Without another word, I brushed past him, walked to our master bedroom, and I had a shower. My words came crumble and the tears came gushing. I slid and I gazed the wet wall to the wet floor with my arms wrapped around my body as I sobered. The shower head continued to sprinkle water on me, but I did not care. Not even a thousand oceans could wash away my guilty. I felt so guilty because not only had I agreed to defy my marriage by lying with another man, I had also enjoyed it and I wondered if God was ever going to forgive me for being such a wanton woman. Well, that day slowly passed away with my husband trying to please and pamper me, but I was lost in my own thoughts and I was not receptive. No matter how hard I tried, I just could not get the orgasm I had off my mind. Each time I thought of what color had done, my crochet must end up and I bet I was going to be sentenced to internal damnation for this. That night, my husband asked me to quit my job. He stated that he wanted me to have enough rest. And in order for me to conceive, he would not like me to stress myself. I solely agreed and went to bed. In the middle of the night, he began to kiss me and I knew what he wanted, but I strangled him off. That was the first time ever that I had ever denied my husband his sexual rights. I had done it because I did not want him to run the Ligaring memory of Kola's pleasure with his sore one. I slept off, relieving my sexual encounter with Kola in my mind. The next morning, after my husband left for work, I was home alone and it was indeed very boring while watching Nat going wide on the large sitting room TV. I dozed off on the sofa but woke up to someone secretly taking off my pants. I jointed awake and was about to scream when I saw Kola squatting close to me, but my voice immediately ceased when he suddenly buried his mouth between my thighs. Helplessly, I fell back on the sofa, unable to resist the pleasure that instantly coursed through my body. That was all it took for me to succumb and before I knew it he was painting hard on me and I did not hold back to shame anymore I begged him not to stop but when I felt him go read he withdrew and ejaculated on the sofa and I gave him a look why I asked almost angry still painting he fell back against the back rest of the sofa and managed to say I am not fool. I presumed you and your husband would not let me have another chance if I impregnate you quickly. I had a deal with your husband about the money and now I will have a deal with you about the sex. You let me sleep with you for four weeks 
and only then will I give you what you want. You two tiny bastard, I nyan, joint into my feet. You think this is a game? You just wanna walk in here and sleep with me whenever you want. What do you think I am? A dog, I foamed. How did you even know I was home? He smiled slyly. Your husband told me that you would be resting at home from now on and I have decided to make the best out of it. Get out of my house, I pointed at the door. Get out of my house now. This is all a stupid idea and I wonder why I agreed to it in the first place. If you do not leave now, I will call my husband. I threatened, but he was paying no attention to me. He was lost, staring at my bosom, which bounced at every angry gesture I made. As he started to come for me again, I turned and flew, but I did not make it up the stairs. He caught me halfway and was in me again. God, I was finished. I lost all my defenses. From that day, once my husband had gone to work, Color will automatically appear. He took me in the sitting room, by the pool, on the matrimonial bed, in the kitchen, on the stairs, in the hallway, you name it, and all this time, never did he once ejaculate within me. As for me, I was too taken away by all the pleasures to reveal him or end all the rubbish. We worshipped in the same church, and even while in church, he would not keep his eyes off me. It made me feel so uncomfortable. And I was nervous that his wife, who was singing the hymn by his side, would notice. After church service, Kola and his family followed us home. We mostly did a get-together once in a while, and Sunday was one of the days. While we left the children to play within the house, with all the toys I had initially bought for my unborn children five years ago, which were not forthcoming. Jeremy, Kola's wife, offered to assist me with preparing lunch in the kitchen while the men watched a soccer game in the sitting room. We got talking and I noticed that she was distressed, putting aside our little chit chat. I asked, out of concern, as I filled a glass cup with water and started to drink. Jeremy, I have noticed how worried you look since we met at church. Are you okay? She heaved a sad sign as she chopped some vegetable, then replied, It is color. Jeremy was always free to tell me her problems, but I never really returned such. I think he is cheating on me. She paused. Now, she's... Placing a hand on her hip, I almost shook on the water and quickly caught myself. After recovering from my coughing, I took a deep breath then asked, What do you mean by his cheating? I know that my husband has always been a cheat, chasing after university girls, but it is worse this time. He has refused to sleep with me for the past three weeks, and even when I managed to arouse him, he can hardly get up because he has exhausted the life out of it and I am left to go to bed like that. Okay, but do you have any idea who your husband might be cheating on you with? I cautiously asked. No, he is very discreet about this particular woman this time. I have secretly gone through his phone at night. No call, no test, just a mighty depletion in our pack of condom at home. Whoever this woman is, may she not know peace for making me almost depressed. I swallow at at the mention of a cause and obviously scratched my nip. So what do you intend to do? I pressed. She shrugged a shoulder as she began to raise the chicken under the gushing tap. Color knows very well that I was barely good three days without sex and yet he has denied me for three weeks i am thinking of calling up akin i frown is it not that your hairs i whispered in disbelief and so she whispered back is it a new thing see 
she came to me, wiping her wet hand against her apron, as she whispered, weary of the men in the living room. Almost every married woman out there is sleeping with another man, other than her husband. It is nothing new. Men think they are the only one who can cheat, but we women too can, and we are very good at hiding it. I simply nodded with pursing lips. Scared that she will see the guilt in my eyes. Jamie did not have a point and I could not cheat her because I was guilty of infidelity too and worse. I was doing it with her husband. She threw a glancing towards the kitchen doorway and whispered, You know I trust you a lot, Tony, and you have never let my secrets out. But Akin is the father of my second and third born. I am not even sure whom the father of the other two are. What? My house grew round. How is that possible? How did you get Akin to? She is. My husband will be feeling like he is brand Pitt, but he is just a learner compared to my ex. My husband can only make me orgasm once, but my ex, my mamia, just thinking of the mere fat, now is making me honey. Anyway, as for how I can go to father my kids, it's happened one of those numerous times when Cora had to travel to another state on business. It takes six months at most and I knew that the business does not actually last for six months. He chose to stay back so that he can frolic with different girls. And I cannot hold my body any longer and choose not to play the foolish faithful wife to a gallivating goat, rugging up my hair. And I had the best time ever. But Yemi, do you realize that you hold a very important position in church? What if you get caught? I asked, proud at how dear she was. She felt no remorse whatsoever. She is again. Who church help? Everyone has their dark secrets. I was confused now and did not even know how to feel. Silently, with my mind full of several conflicting thoughts, I joined in the cooking and we prepared white rice, stew, fried chicken, and a bowl of salad. When we were done, I decided to go fetch the children while she cleaned up the, the kitchen. I found Sue. But when I asked them where the assembly was, I was told that he went out to play in the compound. As I went in search of him, calling out his name, I gasped when someone suddenly grabbed me from a corner near the air conditioner at the back of the house. Much to my surprise, it was Kola. He had taken the back door when he had seen me step out of the house. He desperately began to wish under my skirt for my pint while I tried to prevent him. You have no idea how bad I have been trying to get you alone, he said. Stop, stop, I protested. Do you realize that your wife and my husband are actually in the house? Do you want to get us in trouble? And beside, your son can just come by and see us. Please stop. Don't worry, I will be quick. I almost had a hard on staring at you in church. If I do not relieve myself right now, I am bound to have blue ball. Why saying all this? He never tried to stop from getting under my skirt. When I protested the more, scared of being caught by Yemi, in case she decided to come looking for her son herself. Kola simply turned my chest to the wall, got my undies out of the way, and hopped away. It was why it was it that we heard a loud scratching of a car outside, an exclamation from someone, startled by the sound. Kola ejaculated inside of me, tugged himself back into his pint, and hurried off to see what had happened. I got myself together too, and I went out just in time to see Tony and my husband rushing outside the house, and we found Kola on his knee, weeping with his bloody son in his arms. We were soon gathered. 
by a growing crowd. Tony refused to be consoled as she rolled on the ground, tearing her scarf off, her head and wailing helplessly. An onlooker told us that the child had been chasing one of the rabbits, which we kept in the compound, and often let them roam about. The rabbit must have escaped from the compound, and in a bid to capture it, the boy had been knocked down by a car, whose driver quickly zoomed off from fear of being niched. My husband grabbed his car keys, started the car, and soon we were on our way to the hospital. When the doctor examined the boy, he said immediately, blood transfusion was needed. Why Tony panicking about her son's life and at the same time about her secret? Color was tested, but much to our dismay, his blood did not match. Desperate to save the boy's life, my husband offered and surprisingly, his blood did. And while we were excused from the ward so that the boy could be treated, I was already waiting for my husband with questions. How is it possible that your blood match is? I demanded, and my husband stammered, unable to meet my eyes. Color, who had been foaming, suddenly attacked him, shoving him to the floor and repeatedly pushing his face. Tony and I tried to separate them, but Color roughly struggled us away and continued to pummel my husband, who was unable to defend himself. Several other lies rushed to break up the fight. And when Kola neared this word as my husband, my heart shook. You flinging bastard, you think you can get a away with it, right? I have been waiting for this very day. You thought I had no idea that you screwed my wife while I was out of town. I had my suspicions, but I just needed something like this to confirm that you had really gotten down with my wife. You considered as oh, always thinking your damn money will get you anything you want. What? My lips quivering as I glanced from Tony to my husband in shock. Is it true? Are you Lakon's father? How? When? I asked. My voice tearing. I had my suspicions about the boy. He had a shrinking resemblance to my husband, but I had waved the thought off because I trusted my husband, and Tony did not seem like this kind of woman. Bleeding, my husband managed to say, it happened seven years ago, and I never intended for such to happen. I went to check on Tony during one of Kola's many trips, like he asked me to. I was a bit tipsy, because I had just returned from the club. Tony eat on me, I cannot really recall, but I woke up next to her, naked. It was only that once he pleased. I turned to look at Tony, who had a mixture of angry and guilty look on her face. Tony, why? I inquired. You knew it was my fancy, and we were planning to wed the next year. Why would you do that to me? I thought we were friends. Just shut your trap and stop acting the saints. She spat and I was stunned by her reply. Are you not also sleeping with my husband? Here I was being a fool and confiding in you about my husband's adultery ways. Not knowing that you are the culprit. You betrayer. You make me sick. I swallow hard now. What do you mean? I nervously asked. You think I did not see you both? Digging it through the window behind the house. You should have seen your face, you stupid barren bitch. My husband frowned in confusion as he stared at me, unable to believe his ears. You are still sleeping with Kola? I could not find my voice and it was Kola who quickly answered. Oh yes, surprised. Your wife is incredible compared to this dread up bitch I married. She is always wet and ready, and I wonder why she could never be satisfied sexually, despite having such a responsive body. Well, 
I do not blame her. I knew this was bound to happen. You think your infertility is ordinary? News flash. I am responsible for your loose palm cans because I have been lacing your drinks with drugs whenever we hang out or clubbing, which kills all your spam. I have been planning this for years, and when you had no child after six years of marriage, I knew you were desperate, and because of your ego, you were bound to come to me for help. I did not sleep with your wife once. I have slept with her every single day for the last three weeks to get back at you for what you did. Now you know how it feels. You bastard. I will kill you. My husband Nyan. It was his turn to attack Kola. And as he punched on him, the orderlies and other visitors or nurses waiting in the lobby who had seen and heard all our shame enjoyed the show while some of them tried to break off the fight. I was weak from within. I quickly leaned against the wall behind me for support. Unable to believe what was happening, all along, I had only been a pal in a stupid revenge game. I was too shocked to speak that I trembled. When I could actually pull myself together after a few minutes, I could hear Kola and Jamie yelling at each other. Kola ordered Yemi to go home and pack all her things and that he did not want to meet her when he got back because he knew that she was a slut. Pale and devastated by the revelation, I took off my wedding ring and threw it at my husband and walked away. I was done with this marriage. He began to plead and started to come after me, but I paid him no mind and I quickly walked out of the hospital. I rushed home, gathered the things I could, which mostly included my clothes and accessories. I was bent to leave before my husband returned. As I packed, I wept. I felt so used. I was a fool. I soon got in the car with my stuffs and left the house, where I moved to live with my younger sister, who had a flat and refused to speak to my husband. When he came around, he told me that after he had taken custody of Likon, his son with Tony, Kola and Yemi got a divorce after Kola spent the 4 million naira on genotype tests on the remaining three children and realized that none of them were his. While Kola took to drinking, his wife attempted to move in with her ex but was turned away by her ex fiancé who had come to visit and spend two weeks with him. It has been almost four weeks now since I left my husband. I gave missed my period. I took a test through a pregnancy test kit. I discovered that I was pregnant. I tried to recall how it had happened since Kola had always withdraw or used protection and then he got me. He had accidentally ejaculated in me. The day his son or my husband's sons had been knocked down. Now I am caught between the deep blue sea and a hard place. I do not know whether to abort the pregnancy or not. Putting away my pride, I called my husband and told him. He begged me not to abort it. He stated that he was ready to take responsibility for the baby. With much persuasion from my parents and his family, whom we the truth of our split up from. I returned to my husband's house. I had my baby. It was a gay. I cared for both children. Although it took time for Lekon to take to me, and I occasionally took him to see his mother, who was now wallowing in squalor and regrets, but had now opened a beer parlor, where she continued her promiscuous ways with some of her customers. My husband went for treatment and unknowing to me, he started reading online on how to pleasure and satisfy a woman. When we finally made love, I had my usual expectation but was disappointed when he began with foreplay. Was this my husband? I wondered. He touched me in places he had never touched me before and even performed better than Kola. 
and I was overwhelmed, although I did not get an orgasm the first day because it was still getting the hang of this new sexual style. But I had high hopes now. We had to go through a lot to discover that he was actually not a two-minute man and that color made him so. He was finally treated and now we have three more children and we are now a family of seven. You should see my mother-in-law playing with the children. Little does she know the hell we went through that almost destroyed our marriage just to please and give her grandkids. Where? My loving husband just drove in from work. The children are in school and I am home alone. Each time he comes home from work in the afternoon, I know what he wants and I am definitely not missing out. In fact, I have stopped wearing on this in the afternoon. Except when the kids are home, least I forgot. Do not try any of this at home. Not all husband can handle the fact that you slept with another man, even though it was their own idea in the first place. In the long run, they might just hurt you with it. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to support us. Hit the notification bell, like, comment and share.